I know I tell you that I love every dish that I'm about to create for you, but this one I really, really love. I would say that I would have it once every couple of weeks and I always have some green curry paste in the fridge or in the freezer. But this is a prawn and eggplant green curry. I'm going to start by creating a beautiful little crispy, flavorful garnish with these kefir lime leaves. So I'm going to shred them or chiffonade them. So we're going to sort of put them all together, make it easy for ourselves so that we can slice these as fine as possible. I want to get a really crispy flavor of this and it sort of releases another layer of depth in terms of the kaffir lime leaves. We do have some in our curry base. So this is a nice crispy, flavorful little crunchy bit on top. So a nice fine slice. Oh, the fragrance that is being released as I cut into these. And this is just one of those, you don't have to do it, but it's a little bit fancy, it's a little bit fun, and it just separates what could be a regular green curry into something a little bit more special. Just gonna separate all of those. Okay, so I've separated all of that. I'm just gonna heat our oil. Just got some grapeseed oil, no flavor, neutral flavor and high smoke point. So I'm just gonna move this away from my body and my face because we're adding a moist ingredient to hot oil. It is gonna pop a little bit. I'm just gonna keep it over that heat. So we're shallow frying, but I'm sort of tipping all the oil in that one corner so we don't have to use excess oil. So this would work quite well. Deep fried as well. If we don't need to waste the oil, we may as well not. So I can see that they crisping up just gonna give them a little bit longer and then we'll drain them so the ones in the middle are still a little bit soft the ones on the outside are really crisp so they've almost become kaffir lime chips or crisps so the same way as it's very satisfying to have crunchy shallot on dishes this is sort of similar kind of reason for putting it there an interesting an exciting crunchy garnish for the top of our green curry and they can sit at room temperature if you've got a particularly humid area i would put them in something airtight so that they don't sog and sag that's only kaffir lime leaves that have been in there now so there's a lot of flavor in there we can put our green curry paste in because it's the same kind of flavor. There's a wet ingredient going into a hot pan, so be very careful it doesn't jump back on you. Keep a nice, safe distance. We want this to cook a little bit before we add in our coconut cream and milk. Oh my goodness, the chili, the heat, you can breathe it in straight away. And the belachan, that roasted prawn paste is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna reduce that to a low simmer. So this is a bit of a cheat at home, quick way of doing it. It gives you a little bit more control. So I'm going to cook the curry sauce separately from our prawns and our eggplant. Um, it allows us to have a little bit more control over our protein. We can sight it all and we can get as smooth a sauce as we like. So I've got coconut cream and coconut milk. One has a higher fat content, giving us the creaminess. One has a higher water content, so we can evaporate some of that whilst building the flavors. Just gonna give that a good stir to incorporate. Then we can leave it over a low simmer until we need it. Whilst our flavor base, our curry sauce is blipping away there, we can prepare the rest of our ingredients. So I want to slice up our eggplant. If you want every ingredient in this recipe, to sort of be singing that beautiful green color. You can find um, at the right time of year, in the right grocery marketplace, you can find apple eggplant, which are a little bit smaller than this, more like a golf ball size, green and white striped. But we're gonna use two different types of eggplant in here. You could also choose to use uh, pea eggplant, Thai pea eggplant, which are a little bit bigger than a pea, slightly deceiving name, but they are a little bit bitter as well, so you may need some heavier salt content. So all of our eggplant that are smooth, um, standard aubergine color on the outside, we're going to slice into discs and then the other ones we're going to quarter so that you've got a nice textural shape difference there. So about a centimeter thick because we want them to be able to color on the outside but not collapse entirely. I particularly like using the eggplant because they're so absorbent. So in terms of soaking up and being a sponge to all of that delicious flavor in there, it's a really nice, gorgeous little vegetable to use. So we will get our other eggplant here, beautiful stripes on the outside. And as I said, we'll quarter these ones the other direction so that we've just got another shape and texture, exposing all of those beautiful seeds. And the more surface area, the faster that they will cook. 
So we've got quite a lot, or what appears to be quite a lot of eggplant here. It does collapse in size somewhat. So don't be scared by the volume that we've got right now. Just gonna put that aside and slice up our chilies because once our eggplant and our chili are done, we really don't have too much else to do. So we wanna be ready to plate up. Gonna slice them very finely on the side. So as much or as little as you like, I really enjoy having the cooked chili flavor in the curry sauce or the base and then the vibrancy and freshness of the, the sliced fresh chili on top. So our flavor is developing nicely. We've cut up and prepared all of our garnishes. So now we can fry our eggplant. I wanna get a nice seal on all of those edges. A little bit of color, make sure it's cooked through. And then we'll pop our prawns in, which will only take about a minute. So we'll pop all of our eggplant in there. We've got quite a wide base non-stick fry pan so that we've got enough space that these little eggplant don't overcrowd. Quiet sizzle there. As I said, I don't want these completely collapsing, but I do want to cook them through. And then the last minute or two, we'll throw our prawns in. So I'm really happy. I've blistered the outside of our eggplant. I can see that they are cooked enough of the way through, but they're still holding their shape. So we don't want a mushy texture with a creamy sauce. We still want there to be a little bit of, of bite. Differentiation in texture is always satisfying to eat. If you see that your eggplant are absorbing all of the oil and they're drying out, feel free to add a little bit more grapeseed oil if you need to. And we've got a little bit of color there. So I'm happy to add our prawns at this point. Now we want to cook them until they're just opaque. So bright pink and opaque. I'm gonna give them a couple minutes while I just adjust the seasoning of our curry sauce base. So I've got some gorgeous fish sauce here. So rather than using salt, we use a Thai seasoning in the form of fish sauce. Very salty, but also adds a little bit of umami. So all of those beautiful savory notes. Definitely needs a little bit more salt, which is also going to complement the eggplant and prawns beautifully. Quickly pop that through. So most of them have had time on one side. Just make sure they're all flipped over so that they're evenly cooked through. Love cooking seafood and this is a really beautiful way to do it if you haven't done them in a, a green curry before. So you could cook chicken or squid. Just about any white meat goes really beautifully with this dish. I'm going to start plating this up. Rather than going back between the two, I'm gonna use two separate spoons. I'm gonna put a small amount of our, our curry sauce on the bottom here because I want to be able to see a bit of everything. Then I'm gonna grab some, some eggplant, a couple of the different shapes and textures. Going to grab a little bit more of our sauce so that this is starting to soak in. So over the top of that eggplant now, and then back to our prawns and eggplant, which I'm gonna turn off the heat now. They've had plenty. A Little bit more eggplant in there. A few of our prawnies. So we've got all of our garnishes ready. Again, we've got all different green shades and textures. If you have access to Vietnamese mint or basil, that would be a really nice sort of other texture here. If you don't, mint and coriander does a really beautiful job. Now again, I want to be able to see a bit of everything that is in this dish. So I'm sort of piling it off center. A few of these gorgeous fresh green chilies and a generous amount of our crispy kaffir lime leaves, which also create a little bit of height and drama for when we present it to our diner. I am really excited about this. The prawns are still sizzling. I can smell a bit of everything. I'm salivating just thinking about this. And now what a beautiful presentation. I really hope you try this green curry at home.